beast, you know. So um, let me share you this uh, dream that I had last night. Um, last night, I had the dream where I was actually situated um, in what appeared to be Jerusalem. Okay, I, 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 it looked like um, the Arab um, markets, okay, the district, you know, where they, um, you know, they're, they are actually, you know, uh, selling merchandise. And I'm going to show some pictures. Some of you maybe have, have visited Jerusalem, and this is where, you know, you can uh, buy all sorts of um, merchandise and food and wares. And it's very popular. It's the, um, they have a Muslim. Uh, district quarter they have a muslim quarter and a jewish quarter and i had this dream brothers and sisters that i was actually literally um you know in that uh, area i was um walking through this uh, the, these markets and um there were like the these um these gentlemen that were actually speaking and um, I couldn't really perceive what they were talking about, but it seemed like th these were literally uh, Israeli politicians, okay? And they were talking while they were walking in the bazaar, okay, in this, uh, in this Arabian um, market. And um, I saw like uh, men that were planning uh, um, an attack on these men. And uh, it was a very busy, busy bazaar okay there were lots of people buying and and selling and uh, interestingly enough um there was this a uh, man that had a gun and he started shooting at these gentlemen he started shooting and he had another accomplice that was also shooting um and there were like isolated shots and people started to panic in this in the in the jerusalem bazaar they started to run in all directions and then interestingly enough i saw uh idf soldiers wounded they were actually you know uh, against the wall and uh, the, the these specific soldiers that i saw wounded were women uh women idf soldiers that were shot by these um these terrorists okay and interestingly enough these terrorists were uh actually quite pro-palestinian but they appeared as as white men, okay. And uh, some of you know my my thoughts on the controlled opposition and how the Mossad uh, uses um, people that have you know like a um, they have a um, like a, a cause um, to the Palestinian cause or to to a Hezbollah. But they're all controlled opposition. They appear as Muslims but they're actually working for the Mossad. I, I also believe that uh, a lot of the information um, that happened you know, on 9-11 pertaining to the Mossad is true. Uh, I do see the hand of the Mossad on 9-11. So it's interesting that I had this dream and the, the men that shot at these IDF soldiers were actually white. They, weren't, they didn't look like Palestinians, though they were very pro-Palestinian. So I thought that was interesting. And uh, these IDF soldiers, these women, they were lying, uh, they were lying against the wall, wounded, and paramedics came and they were, you know, treating their wounds. So I thought that was very, that was quite telling. And I'm going to share this to you. And this is what it looked like. The scene looked like this sort of setting. And I don't know if you're, you're seeing this on the screen, but this is the, the Arab market in Jerusalem, okay? And interestingly enough it looked like this picture here i'm going to try and enlarge this um the scene uh that unfolded in my dream looked very much like this picture okay so it's a uh, your typical um you know market where uh, in in jerusalem people you know sell all sell all all sorts of uh, all sorts of things and this is interesting because this particular picture is actually the Christian quarter okay so um, I don't know are we going to see this event occur are we going to see this sort of attack this false flag event occur is the Lord trying to say something is going to occur in this area 
like um, the, a terrorist attack is going to occur in the Arab or the Christian quarter, there's this uh, marketplace in Jerusalem. Is it going to occur in this area? And um, I think this is situated at the Damascus Gate. But I thought this was very, very telling. Okay, so this is what I saw in the dream. A terrorist attack occurred in this uh, area. Okay, people run, running in all sorts of directions. And I saw IDF women soldiers. Okay, this is what I saw. IDF women soldier. Okay, they were also shot. Okay, they were wounded. And the ones that I saw were with, that's it, that's the one, with a beret. The woman that was shot, she had the beret. And she was lying against the wall. So this is what I, this is the dream I had last night. And we are the 1st of October uh, 2021. Okay, so this is the dream that I had last night on the 30th of September. Very interesting that I had this dream um, two years after the dream that I had uh, that resembled, you know, Afghanistan with these Muslim fighters, these Russian soldiers. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen in, in this case, but I find that it's very, very telling. And uh, recently, I just, just out of uh, curiosity, I checked on the news in Jerusalem. And if you go to what's happening in Jerusalem at the moment, uh, a knife attack just occurred. Okay. So again, I believe the Holy Spirit shows us um, visions, gives us visions that pertain to future events. Israeli police kill woman who attempted knife attack in Jerusalem. Okay, so here it says Israeli police fatally shot a woman who tried to stab officers in Jerusalem's old city on Thursday. Okay. According to a police statement, the attacker attempted to stab police in one of the streets leading to Al-Aqsa Mosque, where an AFP journalist heard gunshots and saw the body of a woman on the ground later drapped in survival blanket. Okay, police open fire at the assailant. All right, so this recently happened. So um, I really believe that the Holy Spirit was showing me something. Now, will this occur, this particular dream where I saw multiple um you know um, terrorists that um had pistols and they were shooting at um these particular individuals that had a, a, a political affiliations i have no idea when this will happen but i believe this is not a coincidence that we're seeing uh, terrorist attacks occurring supposed terrorist attacks occurring in jerusalem i say supposed because i believe that the the main um uh, conspirers are actually uh, uh, operating in the dark. So uh, the the real uh, culprits, the real um, authors of these terrorist attacks, they will never be um, revealed. They are they are actually splashing all of these supposed assailants, and I believe they are um, either misled uh, or they're, they're just simply um, scapegoats. Um, and they've been unfortunately uh, tricked into doing these these uh, these acts of uh, terrorism. So if I if I continue in this uh, with this train of thought, if I type Jerusalem, I saw another interesting article, Jerusalem, and recently there was this knife attack, but I also saw something interesting. Um, there we go. Okay, this happened recently. Okay, Israeli soldiers killed three Palestinians in West Bank and Gaza. Okay, so um, here it says um, there was this 30 year old woman, okay, um, that was shot, okay, in Jerusalem. We, we got to see that. And then it says in the early hours of Thursday, Israeli uh, forces exchanged, I'm gonna, gonna try and enlarge this. They exchanged gunfire with an Islamic Jihad armed member at Al Nasser Shafiq Sayyid in Birkintown, north of the West Bank. Okay, so Sayyid, the 20, this is still in Jerusalem, interestingly enough. A 22 year old from the nearby village Silat Al Harifia opened fire 
this this man this 20 year old man opened fire at the Israeli forces while they were withdrawing from Birkin okay two Palestinians were injured during the Israeli night raid okay so I find this is very interesting and there's a lot of crackdown in the West Bank from the, the Israeli army okay so um, this is very interesting that all of this activity is going on okay and I I really believe this is clearly not a coincidence are we going to see more of these events occur and that will um, confirm the dream that I just shared to you we could we could see this in the near future okay but this I believe is interesting what has just happened okay this attack in uh, in Jerusalem but my uh, sp this dream was very specific because it occurred in this market area okay and the assailant was actually shooting from above um, I didn't get to, to share this but I'll share it to you in more detail um, the picture that I just showed you the individual was like on top of this area and he was shooting at these individuals that were walking on the street so the assailant was shooting from above and there was another assailant assailant on the ground shooting in this direction okay there were a lot of people going in all sorts of direction i don't know where this location is exactly but this in the dream it resembled this sort of uh this sort of area and i've come to find out it's actually the arab market so again um i believe that there is uh the holy spirit is operating and is showing us things to come events that will occur or have occurred also 